beat on the beat. Hey y'all, so today I'm going to give you guys some Valentine's Day makeup. So first thing I did was put a base, which was concealer. Then I'm going to just blend this out with my little beauty blender. Then with the Laura Mercier, I'm going to set that. Now, my, my freaking lighting is so bomb, but it washed out the white. So that was the Carly Bible Deluxe palette from BH Cosmetics. And I took the top row, third color. And we're going to put that as our transition. We're doing this cute halo look, and I'm so freaking excited. Like... This thing came out so cute, even though it was natural. So this color I showed you guys, I'm going to put this inside of my crease. And we're just going to blend this out. Windshield wiper motion. Alright, and this color is a deeper tone of what we put inside of our crease. And this is what's going to really make that halo effect. You're going to put that at the corner of your eye and then the inner corner of your eye, the outer and the inner. And you're going to sweep it into your crease. Now this is creating the halo effect because as you see, I skipped the middle of my lid. So it looks gradient. Do the same thing, outer corner, blend that in. Then you're going to do the inner corner and then sweep it over your crease and boom, you pop it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this blending brush and we're going to blend these colors just so none of the colors look harsh and just like it's slapped on my eye. Just because I don't have these like micro brushes, you're going to get the color in the middle. So just in case you did that like I did, just take concealer and you're going to make a circle like literally right in the center of your eye. It can go over your crease if you would like, but just create a circle. It's a little hard because I have like this really thick tacky concealer, but just create a circle. Then with the fluffy brush, just in case your circle was too big, I just fixed it by going over it. And now I'm taking the top row second color and I'm just going to pat that shimmer tone on, on the halo part, the, the part missing color. Then I do my cat eye. This was not descriptive with the cat eye part, but if you want to see how I did it, the link will be down below in the description box. So don't forget to check it out if you're interested in seeing how I slayed this cat eye. Also, you're going to see me jump to my foundation. I did put lashes on. I really don't know how to apply lashes on camera like I'm telling you like the whole mirror is gonna cover it like I need to learn how to do it if you want to see how I apply my false lashes though I could definitely show you guys but I'm just jumping in to do my foundation and I'm using my Fenty foundation in 330 um, I honestly don't know if the foundation was too light for me or the concealer that I'm about to put on next was too light but um I don't know like I looked a little a little white and it also could be my lighting because my lighting kind of washed me out but yeah so I'm just gonna apply this found this concealer which is from morphe brushes and this is like the medium palette Now I'm going to set my under eye with the Laura Mercier just so we don't have any creasing. Then with the contour shade, I use the darkest color in the Morphe Brushes Concealer Palette in Medium.
Now you can't see the highlighter I use, but I use the purple shade highlighter in the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics Deluxe Palette. I gotta work on my lighting because it's kind of washing out the, the lighter colors. But um, yeah, that's the colors I use. Then I use this Tarte lipstick and that is it guys. Tell me I am not slaying the game. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and happy Valentine's Day. If you guys recreated this look, please tag me, Team Stacy, or at me at team.stacy. Love y'all. Bye for real.